All right, uh, I'm going to do a quick video here on how to get your uh, INAV portion working with the W2F OSD. Um, most people are following the uh, how to's out there, and they mainly are focusing on uh, beta flight. Uh, so there's only a small couple features and things you need to do to get it running on INAV, and some uh, tips at the end here. So the first thing is uh, you need to root your goggles, add the WQF OSD into it, uh, do all the same steps that you're seeing on the other tutorials, all the way up to the CLI commands, and do not do the CLI commands that are, are being shown there. So when you get to that point, this is where we're going to pick up. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to plug in your flight controller and you're going to connect it. You're going to go to your ports tab. And in here, I've got DJI WT, uh, sorry, DJI FPV VTX. I'm going to switch that to HD0. That's the first thing, so it can process the commands. And the OSD, I'm going to reboot. So the next thing, we need to go to the OSD tab. We're going to select OSD. Has to load. And you're going to want to select uh, HD, and that changes the layout and the area that the font can be run at. Um, and that is sets up that. You can do all your same uh, positions like you did in analog if you ever flew that. Uh, and then you're going to click save. All right, so that's on your default layout. It is recommended to make a second layout and make it blank, or I'm being told you just need to have it a little bit different so you can refresh it. Uh, there is some archiving or some uh, issues with some of the, the um, icons and things that are on the screen that are moving a lot, like your artificial rising and having artifacts that, that clog up the screen. And you can just switch to a blank one and back, and then it, it clears it. Uh, there is a fix coming for that, or they are working with the INAV developers on that. Uh, so hopefully that comes soon. In my case, I do have uh, the uh, GPS still showing. I moved it in location, so it has to refresh. And uh, so you need to set up one of those. Once I've set that up, we need to put that on a switch. Um, and I set mine on a switch that in a mode that I don't use all the time, but I can still fly. So I have mine set up on manual. I normally fly in acro, uh, but that way I can flip to manual and switch back to acro and uh, it clears. Where you're gonna do that is under the OSD modes, you're gonna set up an alternate with the channel and, and switch you want it on, set the range and save. So, that is all you need to do on the INAV side. Um, you're going to just make sure this is on uh, HD0. You're going to set the OSD to HD. And you're going to save and the other steps of an alternate. After that, uh, you need to go to a web page. And that is here. You're going to need, I'll have this link in the description. There are some enhanced fonts to help with INAV. Uh, I'll put the link in. This is also available on the uh, GitHub o WTF OSD wiki. Uh, you're going to save, you're going to download these folders. So this is a sneaky FPV uh, 1.6. I'm going to open up this. There's four fonts. I'm going to drag these four uh, or download these and add them to my SD card, uh, which is here. I've actually done this uh, for all the Betaflight, INAV, and uh, standard. Uh, put them on your root of your SD card for your goggles, um, eject it, and uh, then you will get all the enhanced features. So if you have any other questions, uh, there's some, a wiki here on the FPV WTF group. There's support on the Discord. Uh, the groups have been amazing. Please make sure you uh, give them a donation for all the hard work so they can keep on uh, 
improving our system that they've added to us. Uh, just a great job by the developers. And uh, so, yeah, just a really quick video. Just wanted to make sure that um, I could help people. I've been trying to answer some questions and this should do it. Have a great day.